everyone. So I'll start off by saying that it is May 21st, 2015 and I am cycle day 12. Um, and this is cycle 29. So those of you that have been long waiting my update, I have waited way, way too long to update you and I am so sorry. A lot of you that follow me regularly would know that um, me and my husband are in the middle of moving and then we're also kind of taking a vacation in between our move and it's just been chaos it's been crazy and I did not think that I would I guess not have enough time to make videos and I thought everything was gonna be fine and I would have an opportunity you know frequently to sit down and make a video and I haven't so many things have gotten in the way and I very much apologize for that so I'm just gonna go ahead and try not to drag everything on too long because you guys know how I like to talk but I'll start off with what's been going on and why I haven't been able to film videos and um, and then I'll kind of get into this current cycle and what the plans are you know from here so if you go back and watch my last two videos that I did, I did a live pregnancy test when I was 9 DPO and then a cycle update on that same day. And I had mentioned that my family was coming into town so I was worried about filming around them because no one knows about my channel. So they came into town and I was going to wait until they left to test again but we had decided to go to Six Flags and I thought what well, I want to get on these roller coasters and um, you know risk something happening so I took another test and it was negative negative. and then when they left that morning I was going to film another live pregnancy test and a cycle update and I started spotting so I went ahead and tested anyway but I knew what was going to happen and I was so bummed out and disappointed I didn't film it and then the very next day we got on the road and we were on the road for four days and we drove from Northern California all the way to the New Orleans area here in Louisiana. And then when we got here, we stayed with his family for a few days. And now we're staying with my family for a few days. And it's just been nonstop um, <clears throat> being with people, being around people, not having a moment to myself, um, not really having any downtime or alone time. And it's been super stressful for me because it's not like a typical or normal vacation. Um, we aren't, you know, relaxing and chilling in the sun and going out to eat every night. For me, it's like, okay, I don't have a house. I don't have a place to live. Um, and we are currently looking for a place to live in Kansas. And at the end of the month, we're going to drive to Kansas. And my husband's going to report for work. And then that's when the house hunting will really begin. But as of right now, I mean, it doesn't feel like a vacation to me. I feel like a homeless person. You know, we're sleeping on an air mattress and I don't have things surrounding me that make me comfortable. Um, you know, it's just been too long since I've sat on my own sofa or slept in my own bed and it's really taken a toll on me emotionally. And I, like I said, I had originally anticipated filming frequently, you know, keeping everyone updated, doing all kinds of vlogs and keeping everyone in the loop. And it just hasn't worked out that way. Um, I'm super disappointed and I've had this weight on my shoulders because I'm constantly thinking about you guys and I keep getting more and more subscribers and it just blows my mind because I thought, oh my gosh, you know, if I don't post a, a video for two weeks, people are just gonna not wanna watch me anymore. and They're not gonna wanna um, continue to be subscribed to me. I thought I was going to lose a bunch of subscribers and I didn't. So it was all the more motivation for me to sit down and do this and, and, you know, inform everyone because some of you have been commenting and at, commenting and asking, you know, if everything was okay and they can't wait to, you know, hear from me again. So unfortunately this is not, yay, I'm pregnant video or sorry, I haven't talked to you in a while, you know, because something exciting was happening. It's just life really got in the way and this whole situation has really gotten in the way and I really cannot wait to get it back into my own place with all my own things and get back into a routine and get back into a YouTube routine for you guys. And I'm just, I'm so ready for it. I'm so ready for my vacation to be over. I never thought I would say something like that, but I seriously am and 
we won't be leaving here until like the 30th or the 31st. So we still have like, oh my gosh, like 10 more days, 10 more days of vacation. So, and then we'll be go doing the stressful thing, which would be um, looking for a house and then looking for another car and then I'll be looking for a job and waiting for the movers to bring our stuff and I don't anticipate relaxation for quite some time. I'm trying every day to stay calm. I always like to be in control of every situation that I'm in. I like to be in control of my surroundings and when you're staying at someone else's house and you're a guest in their home, you don't have any control. You don't control what you're eating, you know, when you wake up, it's just been stressful for me. But I'm, you know, like I said, I'm trying to relax and I'm trying to enjoy my family and my husband's family. And before I know it, it'll be all over and I'll be missing them again. So as for my cycle, cycle 29, unfortunately, and I am cycle day 12. So I'm right in my fertile window. And that was a huge debate for me was, deciding whether this was going to be a break for us, this little vacation, or if I was going to continue to chart and track and obsess. And I originally said, oh, you have all of these OPKs, they're going to expire, you might as well just take them, have a good idea, and then that way, you know, if you have an opportunity to actually baby dance, you know, while you're in another person's house, which is extremely awkward and horrible, and uh, I won't get into that, but... It's just been, I, what was I saying? I was, you know, I couldn't decide if I wanted to track or not. And I actually got distracted and was like, you know, what cycle day am I? And by the time I checked, it was like cycle day 10. And I was like, well, it's too late to use the digitals. And there's no sense in stressing with the line progression. You might as well take a break. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I can tell not only from my app and my cycle day that I'm in my fertile window, I'm having all of my symptoms, I have the increased um, cervical mucus and I've been very emotional and crampy and so I can definitely tell that this is the time and we're trying to take care of the baby dancing um, when we can and I will just wait a few weeks and test but I will more than likely follow my app on my phone and when it says oh this is when AF is supposed to come I will just believe it and go along with it just for the sake of sanity to keep me from going crazy and taking a thousand tests and spending a million dollars so that's what I'm going to do I'm just gonna follow the app and pretend like it's 100% correct so I'm just tracking my symptoms and tracking tr tracking the days that I baby dance and you know it may come of some something may come of it and something may not but I can't let this video go too long because I'm doing it on my phone and if it goes over 10 minutes and I can't load it, it's a bunch of mess. So I thank everybody so much who has continued to follow me even though I had this lull, you know, this two weeks that I didn't update you, which was so horrible of me. And so I thank everyone for continuing to support me and comment and wonder where I was and it means a lot to me. So hopefully sooner than later I can get back on track and continue to update you. Um, I did film a little bit of our road trip and I'm trying to film some clips here and there of our vacation and hopefully um, you know before too long I can sit down and actually put all the clips together and make one video for you guys. Uh, I'm so ready for my vacation to be over, <laughs> but um, baby dust to everyone who is still trying and congratulations to a couple of the ladies that I follow and I think they follow me. They've got their BFPs and I believe they weren't even trying. So um, yay to you and I'm so happy to see people in my circle that are pregnant and having babies. So congrats to you. You probably know who you are. and. Those of you that have not got your BFP, you know, keep on trekking and tons of baby dust to you. And thank you so much for watching.